right at 426 miles. Um, I do think today, lots of people who come here on tours, they might stay for several days, a week, they go on several cave experiences, they take some hikes on the surface, they watch the film, tour the exhibition, and they leave thinking, well, hey, this was made a national park because the cave is so long, because it's hundreds of miles longer than any other known cave. And it's actually not true. Um, we didn't know that we had the world's longest cave here until 1972. Uh, this became a national park in 1941, and it was actually authorized by Congress in the 1920s. It was set aside as a national park because of the over 5,000 years of human and cultural history that starts just inside this entrance, and also for the amazing flora and fauna that you would find here in this park as well. I'll be focusing a lot on that history. Um, I've got four or five stops that I'll make, uh, several stories that I want to share, but as, as we move through, uh, if you do have any questions, uh, please feel free to ask. I'm more than happy to speak to whatever you all would like to hear about. There's kind of a modern myth or legend told about the uh, the modern finding of this cave, because again, I've already mentioned over 5,000 years of human interaction here, uh, but as American settlers pushed into this area in the late 1700s uh, to uh, settle this land, uh, the cave was started to be used for mining salt meter, which I'll touch on at our next stop. Uh, but several years after this, there was this myth that kind of grew up about the finding of this cave. Supposedly, a young boy named John Houchin was on these hills hunting bear. He shoots and wounds a bear. Uh, the bear then runs down the ridges into this cave entrance seeking safety. Houchin, being brave and fearless as he, as he was, chased that bear down the ridges, down the hillside, and <coughs> discovers Mammoth Cave around 1800. So, couple of reasons, again, why I say there's this local myth, there's this local legend. Uh, well, first things first, folks, I'll just ask you all. If you shoot and wound a bear, are you going to chase it into a dark cave and you have no idea where that goes? Second, that story doesn't really become popular or widespread until around the 1840s, 1850s. That's also around the era when Mammoth Cave becomes a much larger tourist attraction. So it's already kind of famous. Now someone's kind of latching on to this famous type of thing. Well, hey, 50 years prior to that, one of my relatives, John Houchin, was the one who actually found this cave. And third, nail in the coffin. If John Houchin was a true Kentuckian, he would have killed that bear in the very first shot. <laughs> That's the best joke I have. So if he didn't like that, it's only downhill from here. <laughs>
pretty much. <laughs> What is that? Is it? Thank <laughs> you. 